What is something that is becoming normalized and it very much should not be? Lying? There was a time when I could watch a football game and both teams would be upset if someone didn't play by the rules, it was called sportsmanship. Now getting away with cheating is celebrated. A politician like Santos or Trump would have been widely scorned in both media and public for the lies they've told. Today it doesn't seem to matter as long as the liar happens to be on your team in which case any lie someone can get away with is celebrated in both the media and public which has affiliated themselves with the team of the liar. Winning is all that matters. A lot of people started breaking a lot of different social rules during the pandemic, more than they used to before. For example, my neighborhood has a lot more people brazenly not picking up after their dogs, or parking it that they've blocked a driveway, or really crazy speed demon driving. Lots of little things that aren't the end of the world but make life just a little bit worse for everyone else around them. Kissing animals. I'm serious. I like dogs and they can be so lovely, but it's an animal that is usually gross. I keep going to public places, and seeing dogs who maybe shouldn't be there, but then it could be any time at all and someone is just kissing the dog in public it's so gross. I'm really concerned that, and some people who just take big whiffs of their animals. It's like WTF, lack of respecting one's opinion when it comes to social political matters. I find it odd that people get so triggered when someone's opinion or stance on a topic is different than theirs. Also cancel culture, it's just weird that people in the spotlight that are still actual humans aren't allowed to make mistakes and be forgiven for them. Lack of morality, there are so many things lol. Taking candid photos of people and posting them on social media to ridicule them when they're just going about life. In the US, this is legal if in a public space, but it doesn't change the fact that it's very depraved behavior to see someone just vibing on the subway and decide, they look funny. I should show the internet how funny I think they look. M. X. V. Z. V. X. 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 20. X. X. 20. X. Zux. X. N. Z. X. M. N. X. U. X. No. N. X. Z. X. Hercules. X. Dot. Com. Z. 20. Z. M. Ms. Z. K. 7. 3. C. C. Mommy needs a glass of wine. Not that there is anything wrong with it in theory but the language around mothers drinking feels like in 20-30 years they will be the millennial version of almond moms. It's not normal to need alcohol to cope with a hard day, or at least don't phrase it that way to your kids. Here in Brazil it was a trend for some time and is probably still up for older women, adults, to date high schoolers. My reaction to that was they don't even have money. Most dating trends around here revolve around being a gold digger another bad thing that's normalized here. Claiming specific mental illnesses to seem cool. I mean I'm sure there's something going on, but unless a doctor has told you that you're bipolar, autistic, OCD, ADHD, have depression etc, you should probably just say that you struggle with mental illness and not anything specific. The way young people relate to and talk about social media. I recently overheard a teen talking about how part of being a good boyfriend is liking and promoting his girlfriend's posts to his followers so she can build up her brand felt like I was living in a fucking dystopia. Being told that you not having social media is a red flag. I've heard of employers not hiring people because they don't have a social media presence. Like WTF, I'm here to work, what I do outside my office hours has no bearing on my ability to do my job. People believing that they have no power s and just going along with whatever corporations do. No, the environment isn't going to hell because I don't recycle. It's going to hell because when I buy something it comes with 3 pounds of packaging I don't need. You know what's getting pretty common and maybe shouldn't be? Ghosting in relationships what happened to just talking it out? Saying goodbye isn't easy, but being left hanging feels even tougher. Communication matters, doesn't it? Playing MP3 players, iPods, or tablets turned all the way up with no earbuds in public. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Especially in an enclosed space like an airplane. People have no respect for those around them anymore. Cutting off people who are slightly incompatible with you, your views, values. Life will be really lonely if you only accept carbon copies of yourself into your life. None of us are perfect or 100 right about everything. Drug usage. More and more people are slowly taking more and more drugs, and nobody is saying anything about it. Fentanyl overdoses are arising, resulting in the deaths of thousands and everyone is pretty much ignoring it. BDSM style sex acts without explicit consent. The numbers of women I hear from saying that they're being slapped, choked, etc. by their partners during sex without warning, much less consent, is incredibly concerning. Recording people in public. 
It's one thing to be recording a sunset or something and then capture people too. But purposefully filming people without permission just feels invasive and rude even if it's legal. Cheating on their spouses. It is obviously not legit and everybody knows this. Whereas I saw so many elderly guys saying that having a girlfriend at their age is pretty much normal. Cars. They move so fast our brains can't really understand what dangerous metal boxes of death they are. The fact that so much of humanity's world is designed around them. Gross setting up a sequel before the first film has even come out. If each film is there to set up the next in a sort of episodic manner, why not make a TV series instead? Cancel culture. Especially for crap someone did in the past when it may have been more acceptable or not so taboo. Things change. People must grow and learn. Misanthropy. I hate that it's cool now to just dismiss the entire human race as evil and deserving of extermination. That's not a healthy worldview to have. Discrimination towards anybody like it, it was normal 100 years ago but we as a society have progressed last it but now PPL are being hateful to each other again. Reducing all your family, friends, and acquaintances to the same level of importance as any old stranger by only communicating through posts on a server. Hey, you disagree with me me so I'm going to label you a list, phobic, or a turf thereby discrediting everything you've said without listening to you. I'll probably get hate, but hooking up. I'm old fashioned and like dates. Not just hookups. But I'm not shaming those who do. It's just not for me. Content farms mindless internet crap. What has happened to the internet? I wasn't even around during the early internet but I miss it so much. PPL talking about social person. I don't care about your Instagram just like you don't care about my fantasy football team. Nazism in the US. The Maga crowd thinks it's okay. Even before the Gaza conflict. There have been flags of swastikas being paraded. Tipping culture. Why is our generosity being the reason employees can live? Shouldn't they be getting paid a more livable wage? Looking to find faults in other people to feel better about yourself. Delighting in shameful moments of strangers online. An antisocial person has something wrong with them typically. Humans are pretty social creatures last time I checked. Andrew Tate's view of the world and how much of an influence he is over boys like 11 15 year olds. Crime in the streets and no one being held accountable and letting serious crimes go unpunished. Book banning. Information control by the government has no place in an ostensibly free society. Dividing all people into either oppressors or victims. Such a sad, warped way to view the world. Cheating. When you could just talk about what you want out of relationship with the second party. Having a business telephone number that always goes to voicemail, even during business hours. Dropping people the as soon as things get a little rough for them and calling it boundaries. Extreme and exaggerated terminology to unnecessarily describe most things in everyday life. Mocking those of us who struggle with being social, or thinking you can somehow fix us. Taking their dogs everywhere. I love dogs but we leave them at home when we run errands. Locations that exist only for influencer photos. Not for the experience. Just the photo. Self-censoring swears and other spicy words. Let's keep the internet sweary, please. Lack of respect for others. There is less and less empathy for others in the world. Kids disrespecting adults and not taking accountability for being disrespectful. Dressing grade school girls and younger in crop tops and small shorts etc. Homeschooling. It produces people who can't function in life very well. Men and women's sports. Glad to see someone making a movie mocking this. Radio station syndicated shows no one is live in your city anymore. People refusing medical science or medical aid for political reasons. Having to work yourself to exhaustion just to meet your basic needs. People constantly checking using their phones in social situations. Posting the exact same question on Reddit every 13 seconds. Knowing by your 20s that you will never be able to afford a home. Society always being on the brink of collapse and be not caring. Calling everything you don't like or agree with fake news. The pushback against vaccines and making vaccines political. Live action anime remakes. Cease and desist immediately. Epstein's murder. Visitors to Epstein Island unpunished. 